Hi everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop quick tip tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to sharpen your images in the best and easiest possible way. As you can see, I found really great picture on the Pond 5 with the hairs around which going to work really great after we sharpen this image. At first, we have to duplicate our background layer. The first copy on, of this layer I'm going to call Blur. After this, let's duplicate our background layer once again. And this time I'm going to call this layer High Pass. After we finish it, move the High Pass layer above Blur and turn off visibility on this layer. So we can start with Blue layer. At first go to Filter, Blur and choose Gaussian Blur. As you can see my radius is at 12 pixels and it's totally alright, keep the radius around 10 pixels, it's pretty much universal. So I said 12, 10 is also alright, there's not such a huge difference, but don't add for example 20 pixels would be totally too much. Okay. Then go to High Pass layer and this time click Filter once again, but then go to Other and High Pass. My radius is the same at 12 pixels. Keep it pretty much similar as Blur. It doesn't have to be the same, but probably the easiest way is to keep this the same to remember. Okay. And now change blending mode on this high pass layer into linear light. And there you go, as you can see, this image is really sharpened, but it doesn't look so well right now. So we have to do some corrections to make it look really awesome. At first, I'm going to put these two layers into the group, press Command and G or Control and G if you work on Windows. Then change the name of the group into Sharpen. I'm going to change the name to make it easier. Create new layer mask and invert the color of this layer mask, this white layer mask. To invert the color, press Command and I if you work on Mac or Control and I if you work on Windows, just like this. And right now we have to paint with white color on this black layer mask. So choose color white, choose a brush, pretty much like big size like me. As you can see, I have opac opacity at 100% and here opacity of the group at 100% as well. We can choose the opacity to 80 maybe. It won't be so strong and here I'm going to change opacity to 70% to keep a bit more control when I'm going to paint with color white and let's see what's going to happen. As you can see, we get a really nice effect on the lips. Paint the areas you want to sharpen like eyes, lips, maybe a little bit cheeks and of course hair which going to look really great. After we finish, we can see how it looks right now and how our image looked before. As you can see, it's really great difference. Our image is really perfectly sharpened and I really love this effect. If you like this effect, click like, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.